Hi everyone, welcome to Jer Anderlandia. I'm Jer Ander, and I'm here um, in the guts of the spider spawner. This is the sorting system that sorts out the stuff. Um, one thing that I realized after building this is that I have too many items in it. Let's see if I can figure out how to grab them. I think these are the ones I want. See, I've got 44 here and only one here. My thought was that I could save a lot of items instead of having 40 something here, 41, and then one in each of these. However, this destroys the overflow pr protection because this can fill up. It'll send a signal through and unlock a whole bunch of stuff. And so I need to get some of this stuff out. And so I'm going to do that very carefully. Like so. Right? And it's just, rot it's just rotten flesh, I think. Hold on. Let me check my inventory. It's just, it's, I called it filler. And uh, I need some of this for the ender, 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 which is why I'm here. Um, I, yeah, I'm totally unprepared out there. So, yeah, I'm grabbing this stuff. The other thing I'm going to grab is a name tag, so I can, I can name tag an ender mite. And so um, I'm going to grab this stuff. I'm going to bring it with me to the end. And in the same time, I'm going to fix this sorter. And we'll see you back at the end. Hi, everyone. I'm back. Um, I just want to show you some... Oh, I'm up here already. Um, I put some torches down. That should pre prevent... Uh, Ender person spawning up here and create and, and prevent my, my future deaths from this project until I fall. Anyway, so I've got the filter items, or filler items. So I just need one in each of these slots here. Like this. And like that. That should do, right? Oh, now I need the ender pearls, and I don't know how many because these are only 16 per stack instead of the the 64 that it, that we're used to. I don't know how many are going to filter through. What if I put 16 in here? How many it goes down to? 10. Okay, I can do that. I can do 10 because I need ender pearls to make an ender mite. It worked. It worked. Ha ha all those up. Did I pick them all up? I picked them all up. So I need, I need, I probably need more, more ender pearls than this create an ender mite, but I don't actually need to make the ender mite yet. First I need a place to capture the ender mite, and in order to do that I'm going to make the name tag first. The question is what to name the ender mite? Because, yeah, I don't know. Can I name it ender mite? I, no, I'm going to name it dirt. Because I wanted to name the dirt dirt, but now I'm going to name the endermite dirt. And that'll work. That'll work. And let's see. That can go in there. That can go in there. I've got some extra dirt because I need extra dirt. I only have two. Okay. So I'm going to have to get some more materials, but I'm almost going to have to do a little bit of thinking. I've been watching a lot of, uh, of uh, ender, 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 enders, enderman farm, ender person farms on YouTube. And I'm trying to build one from first principles. Doing a little bit of research, um, I need to figure out how far of a drop. I need to figure out where they are going to land. And yeah, so this is the hopper feed here. So I need a hopper feed into this hopper feed. And that hopper feed will come from the hoppers where the ender people fall to. Let's see if I can figure this out. Well, I'm going to have to do a think. And I'll see you in just a moment. Hi everyone, I'm back. I did a little bit more research and uh, I think I know what I want to do up here. Um, first of all, I need to actually hey, ha, extend this hopper string. Now, let's talk about this a little bit. Where do I want to kill the ender people? If I wanted to, I could kill them all the way down here, but then I would have to put in an item elevator to bring the stuff up there. And I don't think I want to do that. I've got so much space and I don't need maximum efficiency here because it's just me. And uh, I, I think it'll uh, the, the ender pearls will fill up pretty quick, and I don't use ender pearls that much anyway, so that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. So I think I can just send a horizontal string into here. Now, having said that, I think I'm going to have two strings. Let's see. I thought I heard something. I didn't hear anything. But what I'm thinking is hmm, because I also need room for a wall here, because this stuff is going to be behind the wall. So I'm going to need a couple extra. So I'm just going to extend it over this way like this. From here, let's see. 
I think. <laughs> I'm thinking a little bit. I think I want it to go up. Like so. And so that'd be floor level there. And then we need one more to bring it above floor level. That. And then I don't think I have enough now. But I'm thinking. I'm going to need to make one more, I think. Three, three. Maybe like that. I think I need at least one more. So the idea is that I'm going to have two kill chambers. Oh, so these may need to go down. Yeah, I think. Oh, I've got a torch in my inventory. I'm going to bring my pickup with me, of course. Ah, uh, mm hmm, hmm. So I think these two and two are going to have to point down. And then this will have to come out. And they'll go down and then across. I think that's how it's going to have to work. Right. See if I can make a couple more. Oh, I'm out of wood. This project has been such a pain in the patootie. So I need to get some wood. I'll be back in just a moment. Oh my word, that run is getting painful. I need to do something about that. Not today. Today, we're going to set up some hoppers. And I brought all my chests because I was done. I was just done. And I think... Let's do them all. Let's do them all. I can always use hoppers later. Okay. Of course, now I'll need all that iron for something, I'm sure. But, okay. So, what I'm thinking is that... Um... How do I get up here now? Do I have any dirt? I bet I don't even have dirt. Oh, I have some dirt. Thank you. Thank you for having dirt. And do I have a pick? I have a pick. It's just... I, ah. Yeah. Oh, let's put that one right there. Okay, so this stuff has to come out. See if that comes out the other side. And I think I actually want these to come out too. But I think I have a different idea. Um, most ender person killing areas are a three by one block area. Oh, did I lose anything over the edge? I'm going to have two of them. I don't know where that, did it come through? Did it get stuck somewhere? It didn't get stuck somewhere. Girls? But I thought that it would come all the way through here. Unless I picked it up. Interesting. I'm going to have to do some more testing to make sure this thing works right. All right, so what I want to do then, I think this is the center, right? This is the center. Okay, so path is going to come roughly along here. Now, if this to come up, let's do, let's do two. So that gives us one block for a floor. Let's do three. And I want to go on either side of this. And two more this way. So these three right here will be the place where the, the ender people drop down, as will these three. All right, so I'll we'll have two shoots for ender people. This is kind of what I've decided. And then this may be a spot where they can run around. Um, so I'll need a floor up here and a way to get up to this floor. Jumping, I guess. Ouch, really? Ambles are hard on the feet. Okay, so I think that's... That's wrong. That one needs to come out. Am I sure that something didn't come out here? Oh, I bet it went in here. There it is. There it is. Okay. Um, oh, so I brought some ladders. So let's start using those. Maybe I'll bring some. Did I bring oak? Did I not bring oak? Did I go all that way and not bring oak? You see the rage building in my eyes. The slow, quiet rage. Okay, well, we'll just have to deal with it. Um, because I can make the floor out of something else. In fact, I had an idea about, well, the shoots at least. You can come out. Like that. And you, let's put some ladders here. Let's put a ladder there too. 
Okay. So anyway, so this whole area can be a killing spot for the Ender people. In fact, the floor could be on the same level as this, right? So in theory, I could have had it one more down, but I'm not going. I think this will this will be fine. This will just be fine. All right. So this is this this is this. Now, like I do for most of my um, killing spots, I'm going to put in some carpet. Hopefully this is enough. So I didn't actually do math before I left, but I'll do it like this. Ooh. Like that. So it'll be kind of a, not a 360, a 270 degree killing area. So then the, the, the killing area, so yeah, two here, two here. All right, so now that I have these in place, I have to design the shoots. And the, the shoots will just be the three by three, or three by one, and the three by one. And this will just need to be high enough for ender people to walk through it. If I can get a ladder through here, like that. Okay. I wonder if I'll have enough ladders now. I better have enough ladders. I don't have any wood. Why didn't I bring any wood? That's half the reason I went there. Okay. So, uh, so now I'm thinking about killing chamber. And I brought. You see, I brought all this endstone. I've never used endstone to build before, and I thought it seemed kind of appropriate to do. As did glass, and I brought some white, and I brought a little bit of black. The temptation, building over the void, is put in a black glass floor. That's always a temptation, right? I don't think I'm going to do that. But I brought a little bit of black just in case I want to do something there. I may want a black window back here. But before I get into all that, I didn't bring any wood. I'm not going to have to go get wood, am I? I may have to go get wood. Nope, I'm going to use a trapdoor. I'm going to cheat and use a trapdoor. Because I need to bring this up a bit. Because Ender people have... The... Ender people have 40 hit points. That means if I want to get them down to half heart, that's a 39 um, hit point difference, right? Plus two for free, so that's 41. They have to fall 41 blocks. So I need to make this shoot 41 blocks tall. And how am I going to do that? Well, what I was thinking was... I don't know. Let me get back down here again. Did I grab the ladders? Grab the ladders. Don't be silly. And my crafting bench, that's, I should bring that with me. I should just... Why don't I have my inventory full of stuff? I don't know. What I was thinking. And Ender people are 2.9 blocks tall. They are. What else can I make with these? I don't know how to make, make stuff with these endstone stuff. Can I make walls with them? Oh, I can. Huh. Huh. I've got these. What else do I have? Got those. Can I make those? No. Can I make... Those? No. Can't make stairs out of these either? Nope. No. So the blocks, the endstone is just the endstone block. The endstone bricks are bricks or slabs or stairs or brick walls. And so I think most of this is going to have to be here. this endstone brick. I think that's how it's going to have to work. But I think that'll be enough for now. Okay, so. Back to what I was thinking about. I'm not sure how the floor is going to go, but I think I can do something like this. Ah. Then something like this. Then, how was I going to do this? I don't know, actually, but if I do it like this. Kind of like... Yeah, so I don't want to put one there because this is the kill area. But I think I want to put one on the end here. I won't, don't know if I can get that one, but let's try. Can I get it? Ha! Something like this. Oh, that's wrong, but we'll put that one there. We'll recover from our mistake. Oh, that's wrong as well. Recover from mistake. 
Ah, that one was not a mistake. And if I put those down, where do they go? They go to down is where they go. And that one, go, did that one go into hopper? I don't know. I don't know. So this is, so if I have these, these walls here, do I want the corners done? I what that looks like. I think, I, yeah, I may want to do that. So to seal up these corners a little bit, I don't know if they can fall out of those corners, but we don't want them to. Now this is this is a bottom slab, so Ender people can't spawn on that. I need a way up now too. Okay, I think you're going to come up now. Do I have dirt? Did I bring dirt? Why didn't I grab dirt? Because this is how I'm climbing up. All right, so let's do some math. If we're standing on this level, what is this level? Um, F3, not F5. This is 10, so we need to go up to, they need to fall from 51. I have my ladders? Okay. So I think what I need to do is put this column of dirt in first. All right, so I'm going to do that, and we'll see you up at 51. Hi. Here we are up at y equals 51. Yep. Okay. F3. Now, so this is the height they need to spawn at. And I'm going to have to check my notes a little bit because we need to get an ender mite up here. I also need to make sure, actually, this is exa the exa exact spot where the, the ender mite needs to be. This right here is this, the ender mot, ender mot spite. Ender mite spot. All right, so I need to uh, check my notes. How do we get an endermite into that, that spot? I think that'll be the next task. Or maybe I should finish building these chutes. Maybe I should do that. Do I have dirt? Build a temporary floor here. Just so I have something to work with. I should grab my torches too, so I can light up spots. Because I have... Oh, see, there's that stuff right there. Anyway. Did I grab a torch? Didn't I just... What am I doing? What? Why can't I do this today? Rage. Rage. Oh, let's grab that. Hi. Torches? Ha! All right. So what I need to do is get on top of these blocks. And I need to make... Yeah, these are my shoots. I may have to change the top of the chute a little bit. But... What I'm thinking, can I jump up there? I can't jump up there. Jump up here? I probably can't jump up there. What if I put a block there? I should have put, a, let's put a dirt block there because I may need that later. Boom. Okay, we're up here like this. And so if I put a bottom slab there, that would be kind of cool. But what if I do it every other one? We've got three, right? So we've got one, three. All right, I think that's right. <clears throat> now, I could put one right there. There's a one block space in between, but I don't think that's what I want. No, this is this a bottom this is a bottom slab. Oh. What I think I want is a bottom slab there. So this should be see that? Maybe I want to do the whole thing. Maybe I want to do the whole thing like this. I think I do. I think I do. But maybe not there. Well, maybe there. Okay, so this is three. And then I want to do like that. So every third one, but these come all the way up. Okay. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm going to do this a bit, and I'll see you in just a moment. Hi. What do you think of that? I kind of like it. It's got a nice texture thing going. I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue with it. I'm going to build it all the way up, and I'll see you when it's done. Hi, everyone. That is done. Right? You see that? Um, I'm going to run back here a little bit just so I can see what it looks like from a distance. It's not going to be a good view because I think we want to see the backside for the really good view. And to me, that looks pretty cool. Um, obviously, the ladder is not going to be there. 
And I'll need the front side of these as well. Yeah, I'll need two. I'll need two more walls. Um, I can deal with that in a little bit, but I think yeah, I'm liking the way it looks. Let's get this view over here. Look at that. I think that looks pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna get ready for the next step, and we'll see you in a moment. Hi everyone. Um, I had to be run back to home to get some more endstone because I ran out. And uh, let me show you what I've been doing. I've been working on this down here a little bit. So, yes. So the Ender people can't step out from underneath this. And now that I'm looking at it, this may be too close. I may have wanted to push it back when blocky the way. But there's a, a three by three space where they can't. Um, they can't leave. They can't leave this little area. And I put this little rim around here so that it helps to find. I'll have to put one in here once I take the dirt out. Then. I'm doing something similar on the inside that I did on the outside. And I ran out of endstone, which is why I, yeah, I stopped. But I think this is taking a long time. This is a complicated build. It seems simple, but it, it's making sure that all the stone is in the right spots, etc., is, is challenging sometimes. And uh, I want to take a step back, and I want you to look at something, because I think I know what I'm going to call this. I know it's, it's kind of an ender, 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 but kind of looks like a spine, doesn't it? So I'm going to call this the Ender Spine. And now that we've named it, I'm going to continue working, but I'm going to end the episode. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, I'm Jared. This is Jared Anderlandia. I, I, I hope you enjoyed. If you did like, feel free to leave a like. If you really liked, feel free to subscribe and leave comments down below, whether you like, dislike, etc., etc. And we'll see you next time on Jared Anderlandia. Goodbye.